Across the mountains, the spring season is in full swing. Segiguchi Koi Farm is situated in Shiozawa, approximately 65 kilometers away from the concentration of breeders in Ojiya and Nagaoka. Most breeders in the area produce Showa, and Sekiguchi is by far the most famous. Although not the eldest son, Masayuki Sekiguchi has taken on the running of the farm started by his father, and today was doing a selection of his tosai. The pond being netted contained the offspring from three female parents. With the pond netted, Masayuki-san set about sorting through the koi. The primary objective to identify the sex of each one. The leading ray of the pectoral fins are checked for the roughness which male koi possess, and the sides of the koi gently squeezed to see if it is possible to extract sperm. There are some koi which cannot be accurately assessed at this stage, and assuming they are of the required quality, they will be kept as tatagoi steel. Most males will be offered for sale, however some, those that have the best potential will be kept and grown on over the summer in concrete ponds to develop their body shape and coloration, making them ideal candidates for show koi in the autumn. As Masayuki-san went through the koi, he placed a number of high quality pieces in the bowl for the benefit of this program. Once his selection process was completed, he narrowed those koi down to these being his top five. Masayuki then stated that at present these koi were not very pretty. The koi house these tatakoi are grown on is fed by natural hot spring water, and throughout the winter has a natural temperature of 21 to 23 degrees. That is the benefit. The downside is the water is very low in oxygen, and also has a pH of around 6.5. As a result of this, the colours are not very vibrant, but masayuki Dan stated that upon placing them in the regular groundwater of the other koi houses, within a week they would look much different. These are some of the farm's older koi. Koinobori, or carp streamers, are another symbol of spring in Japan. They can be found flying at the end of April and beginning of May, and traditionally celebrate Kodomo no Hi, or Children's Day, which is a holiday on the 5th of May, the end of Golden Week in Japan. When flown in a set like this, the black carp represents the father of the home, the red carp the mother, and smaller different coloured ones added for each child of the family. Nogami Koi Farm is situated in the village of Mimikaichi, very close to Ojiya city, but technically part of Nagaoka city. It's the 2nd of May, and Hisato Nogami is preparing to release koi to one of his mud ponds. Primarily a Kahaku breeder, the koi that Nagami San produces are unquestionably some of the best in Niigata, and indeed compete at the highest level at the All Japan Koi Show. In 2008 and 2011, the haku bred by Nagami Koi Farm took grand champion at the prestigious Niigata Nagiyosai Koi Show. Thank you. 
Each koi is bowled and photographed before being loaded into the tank on the back of the truck to be taken to the mud pond. Around 10 minutes drive into the mountains closest to Nagami San's home and overlooking Ajia is the mud pond into which these koi will be released. One by one the koi are released into the crystal clear water which just a few weeks before was still snow which had filled it after it was drained the previous autumn to be harvested.
We'll catch up with Izgoi in the Autumn Edition of Nigata Seasons. A farm's oyagoi, or parents, are unquestionably its most valuable asset, the most important ones being those that are tried and trusted, which offer predictable success. These are the female oyagoi of Nagami Koi Farm. It's fair to say their days of beauty are over, although in many cases parent fish would never have won prizes at koi shows. They are selected for specific traits and pattern an important asset for koi shows is not a valuable asset in an oyagoi, pattern not being something directly passed on to the offspring. This Kahaku, Nagami now believes to be his best female, 